Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ben Red Fox coming at you again with another paintball video. I'm sure you get tired of these, but you know what? It's all right. I'm just going to keep posting them and keep talking while on here. So, of course, once again, I am at Sherwood Forest. I love this place. Eventually, I'll probably play somewhere else, but as of right now, this is just kind of this is kind of the place that's most convenient and it's just has the, the best best stuff for, for me and what, what I want to do and how I want to play. Um, so, really excited. We have uh, next weekend, April 24th, that we're going to be doing the Pirate Game Scenario. And uh, we are super excited about going, uh, the team that I have. And by team, I mean we just plan on doing scenario games. Like, we don't we don't do any kind of speedball stuff just kind of want to go do things together and we're you know really cute because we got jerseys that match and have the same name and all that stuff <laughs> but hey it's fun it's something we like doing on the weekends so today it's man this was this was such a gorgeous day and uh, I started off really well here as you can see I got two eliminations um, and for me that's really good for others you might be like oh my god I would have had five that um, but that's not me. So, getting this third one, I was I was pretty elated. Like, I know I'm not like saying anything. I was trying to stay focused, but man, I was super excited. Uh, now, some of these these were rentals, and some of them weren't rentals. So it was a good mix. So that that was kind of fun to be able to you know not have to take the foot off the gas and worry about rentals, uh, which we will talk about that here in a second, but. Planes capture the flag. It's right in the center, kind of just beyond that little castle thing you can see. This field is called Commons, and uh, it's a fun little field. You know, sometimes you can get a lot of people out here, and it gets wild and crazy, and paintballs are flying everywhere. Sometimes it's not a lot of people, and you're just kind of trying to figure out where they're at. So I saw this guy in the doorway. He was just kind of hanging out, and. Uh, he was facing towards my team, so I was just kind of like, oh, I think he's not on our team, even though I couldn't really Beat see. the bullet. Yeah, come out, come out. Come out, come out, come out. Get out of there, get out of there. Yeah, I was yelling at him because he was just kind of standing in the doorway, and it's like, dude, just just go. Like, you're not going to get lit up unless you stand there. Now, earlier in the day, it was colder, so we had to underbore. So I was at... It wasn't too bad. It was at like a 0.682 uh, freak insert, and uh, it was doing fairly well. But it, around this time, it got warm, and as you can see, it's kind of sunny. So things started warming up. Uh, I was using uh, two Quantity. different kinds of paint, which that was probably an issue too. And I forgot my barrel swab. Actually, I think I lost it. Um, and I didn't know this until like I started breaking paint. So. I'm doing, I'm doing pretty well. I feel like Kill I held this left side pretty decently. Um, I kept them kind of pushed off. I had some rentals that were like in this back left corner um, that I knew they weren't going to really make any kind of moves on me um, as long as I kept checking in on them. So I felt pretty comfortable where I was at with how everything was going. So 10 minutes, I figure, okay, we're going to whittle them down. I didn't know if anybody was in that tower at this point, but I think I was starting to suspect because we hadn't had it, and I, thought, I think I saw some people moving. And this is kind of where my troubles began. I think at the end of this, I break some paint, and it just gets it gets ridiculous. Oh, in the brush, all right. So some rental players had made made some good moves, oh, and that's where I started breaking. Now, like an idiot, I can be just like, oh, okay, I'll just shoot through it. Whatever, not a big deal. Forgetting what happens when you try to shoot through a break in your barrel. Like, it just, you continue to break, and it just, it compounds on itself, and it gets really, it gets stupid messy. And then, here in a little bit, I'll get a barrel swab from a ref. And uh, I was just struggling. 
And so when I when I barrel swab it, I'm an idiot because I don't take the barrel off and just completely clean it. What's up? Yeah, I'm right here. Are we it? So you'll see that in a little bit. But talking to my buddy, uh, one of my teammates, um, I think that was his dad who kind of hand me a pin. Yeah, your dad's kind of like to the right. He's the one peppering me. So trying to give out some some locations as much as I can to people that were close to me. A lot of my teammates kind of were hanging back and I couldn't see a lot of them so I felt kind of alone out here. Um, and I really wanted, I wanted to move up to that little X bunker right there because then I knew I could really keep those people in the back over there really pinned down and I could put pressure on the other side of the field as well. And here is where the troubles really begin. I put in the field paint, which hadn't been doing too well for me that day. Especially with the bore that I was at. Hey Luke, you still with me? And as you can see, as I close, <laughs> like look at that, it's just a shotgun right now. It's just shooting. Oh, it's just, that's horrible. That is just absolutely horrible. Oh my goodness. It's like a flamethrower at that point. So I'm not wiping any hit off. I'm just wiping the paint pouring out of the uh, little ports on my barrel. Oh, it's so bad. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking. I'm an idiot. Oh, come on. All I knew is I didn't want to get out of the game. I need a cleaner if you got one. So this is where he... He offers up a barrel swab, and he goes to toss it to me. This is why you don't throw a barrel swab. Because that happens. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, there's no way I'm running out there grab it. Thank you. And after it's been on the, on the dirty ground, I stick it in my barrel. And I, was, I felt good, you know? I felt really good after doing it. I was like, yes, all right, I'm back in the fight. Couple couple test shots. Oh, okay, maybe it's still breaking. So then, then I'm struggling. I'm really, man, this is one of those games where you're just like, maybe I should just call out. Maybe I should just go take care of my stuff. But I didn't want to be a sissy and just kind of call it quits. I wanted to stick it out for whatever happened. And oh, Thank you. stuff definitely happens. Wow, I gotta... I'm, I'm getting frustrated. This is bad. Knowing that because I'm not active in keeping people locked down and even getting eliminations or just, you know, keeping their heads tucked in, uh, I know that I'm gonna, they're gonna start creeping in on me. And I think I'd lost one of my teammates that was close by, so I'm just kind of exposed. What? Alright, go for it. I mean, I could see it. If I hadn't had a break, I'm pretty sure I could have got that one out. Because they just, they were sticking out so bad. Maybe they thought I ran out of paint or something. And then I realize there is somebody up top. Watch up top tower! So at this point I'm, I'm just trying to, to be a presence. Hoping that one or two balls will sneak out and I could maybe hit somebody. So here we go. I couldn't, this happened so fast. Rental player pops around the corner really close. Doesn't yell surrender, nothing. I was getting ready to switch to my left hand. And pretty sure I fired three shots. Tower guy nails me, right? I get a couple shots to the neck. You can go re-watch re that if you want. Game that, over. And, it, and it, that was a girl, right? So, I mean, obviously that stuff shouldn't matter whether they're a girl or not, but... Man, I tell you what, I 
felt bad. Like I afterwards went and talked to her and made sure she was okay. And honestly, I didn't even think I hit her because nothing was coming out of my barrel, right? And so she came so close. And usually I don't surrender. Um, but man, if you if you're a new player and you're really aggressive, like be careful when you're coming that close. Because if you surprise someone, I mean, they, they can light you up. And, you know, it's your fault. You initiated that close encounter. I didn't initiate it. All I did was I was backed into a corner. She didn't say surrender. All I could do was fire. And, you know, as you saw, I was like shoving it out towards her. Hopefully that doesn't look too bad. I didn't mean it in any kind of like major aggressive way. But I was also, you know, I was going to go down on with a fight and, you know, I wasn't trying to overshoot or anything like that. But, yeah, man, what a good day. What a good turnout. I end up, like, going back, and, oh, my gosh, the eyes on my gun were so gunked up. Everything was so gunked up. I spent, like, a good hour, I think, maybe, like, 30 to 40 minutes cleaning my gun just because I tried to shoot through the barrel. So that's another lesson, folks. That was a lesson learned, and uh, hopefully you won't be stupid like me. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you can pop on and uh, check out more videos. Make sure you subscribe and like the videos. All right, till next time, see you later.